I was homeless and desperately needed somewhere to stay. I was getting nowhere until I rang Fairweather. I felt very fortunate and very lucky to be able to get a place at Fairweather. I was made very welcome by the staff and also the residents. Fairweather is just what I needed at that time. Over the last five years, there has been a 50% increase of students seeking mental health support, with YouGov stating that 25% of university students in the UK experience mental health issues. One of these support centres is the Bradford-based charity Fairweather. Fairweather's been in operation for over 30 years. Um, historically, we've worked mainly with women and children who were vulnerable. Um, we had a direct access scheme, uh, we developed a mental health scheme and some single supported housing. Uh, we worked with people who were vulnerable, who had multiple and complex needs and were successful at that for a number of years. We've got a very small staff team that's extremely dedicated and believes strongly in what we do. However, for the last four years, Fairweather has experienced cuts to their budget. Since 2014, over £130,000 were cut from their income. In fact, 40% of health centres such as Fairweather have seen their budgets cut in 2015 to 2016. The central government have reduced the amount of money that they're giving to Bradford Council. That has a knock-on effect for the organisations that were working with Bradford Council and receiving large amounts of funding. Then if they haven't pre-planned or identified pots of funding that they need to go for, then they'll simply just close. And we've seen that a lot in Bradford recently, um, especially over the last five to six years. With such close proximity to Bradford College and Bradford University, Fairweather is a pillar to the student community. My time at Fairweather was great. I met some new people. I discovered some new uh, opportunities for me. They helped me to schedule day-to-day -day tasks and I rated overall very, very nice. They were very supportive all the way during my studies. I think that with, without them it would be, it would be some, some missing part from my journey through the uni. The government is trying to improve the mental health services in England and Wales. In October 2018, the government revealed plans to increase mental health spending by £2 billion from 2023 to 2024. We want to bring mental health services onto a parity with physical health services. That isn't true yet, and it's the work of a generation to get there. But for charities like Fairweather that have helped people like Adam and Jin, this may be too late. At times I was feeling low and getting nowhere, stressed and losing hope. But after finding Fairweather, I realised things were going to change for the better. It shocks me to find out that Fairweather is facing a potential shutdown. I would ask anyone who is able to please support this great charity, however they can. If our charity ends up not getting funding, um, we will fold. Um, so we're trying very hard to get funding, but obviously that might not happen. If you're listening and watching to this, I would like to appeal to you. With your kind permission and with your generosity, we can all help Fairweather not to shut down.